Uh, do you want a cup of coffee? I haven't got time. Do you? I told you I will cover until the locum gets here. I've got a lot to do. I want to see Angie. I've got to sort Joseph out. Take him up to the school this afternoon. It's the open day for his reception class. I'm sure Claudia can manage. I can manage. Joey, don't push it. Joseph will be fine. Go back to bed. Zoe's right. I think she should take him. Well, Chris told me before. Well, he said he was going to make sure he took Joseph. It's important for kids, you know. First time he's been to school and that. So, I guess if he has just gone off, then he might... Oh, yes. I see. Um, right, Zoe, if Chris doesn't turn up... He wouldn't let he... Joseph down, not if he could help it. Anyway, I'd better get going. Zoe! I want Joseph to look his best. Come on, Mum, we'll be late. He hasn't even signed this yet. Oh. Signed what? Oh, just some forms from school. It gives permission to run work experience. Oi! Hey, mind your foot. Make sure he pays you. I can't afford to pay him. Then don't ask him. I don't mind helping. Great. No, you can't. You've got school. Well, they can both help this evening. I don't want to. Jack, I thought we said no working on the farm during term time. Well, you've just given them permission. What? Well, you've signed them up for work experience week, haven't you? So? So they can do their work experience here. Dingles be going to Mandy's wedding. More or less. Except those on all day to Majesty's pleasure anyway. <laughs> oh, you mean? Oh, I'm just teasing. Zach's family are all right. In small doses. Oh, they certainly know how to enjoy themselves. The shenanigans they get up to. Yes, sir. I'm not sure. The thing is, I'm not very good with crowds. And not being a dingle. And not wanting to make offence. I don't think I could get up to any shenanigans, even if I tried, so... If you don't mind, I think I might miss the wedding. Oh, Emily. I do mind. You're part of the family now. At least, I'd like to think that's what you felt you were. Oh, at least he'd be very good to me. It's just... I can't. I don't... I'm not a dingle, am I? I'm different from you lot. You most certainly are. You're good, clean and sober. No, no, you're right. I understand. If you're not used to us... Yeah. You know, sometimes I miss... I miss the peace and quiet, I suppose. It's not just the peace and quiet you miss, is it? When was the last time you spoke to your dad? Oh, I don't miss me dad. I mean, even if I did, there's no point. Morning. All right, then. He doesn't want to see me, does he? Anyway, best be going. And then, hold on. I'll see you later. It was all that about. <sighs> no way. I'm not agreeing to any pay rise. We can't afford it anyway. Yeah, but you're splashing out on two new trucks. Well, that's different. In what way? Most trucks are vital to the company's future. And you're saying we're not? It's not unreasonable. We took a pay cut not so long ago. Sorry. I can't make that kind of decision. Not without Chris. So whose idea was it, then? The workers' rebellion. Can't tell you that. Why not? They're my mates. And I'm not. You know which side your bread's buttered on. Oh, flaming heck, that's all we need. Could I have a word with you two? Of course. My pleasure. What can I do for you? I'll have to get my name changed. What for? When the adoption comes through. Uh, Robert, I, I haven't had your form back for the work experience week. Mum hasn't signed it yet. Well, I've had Andy's. Look, uh, don't worry, there's no rush. I don't think we'll have any problems finding you a place. You are? You'll be working on your dad's farm, won't you? Yeah. No. I thought you I'd would. rather do something else. Computing or somewhere. Sure. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, sir. That's all we need. What? Jack thinks you're going to be working for him on the farm. So? So? 
I'm glad it's not me who's going to be telling him. In the mood he's in, he'll murder you. Apparently, Posh had geese her wedding and a thousand doves. You could have pigs. I want it to be romantic. Mandy, look. What? Have you got any invites left? Yeah, loads. Well, it's all right, I just need the one. There you go. Mm. Who's it for, anyway? From what I've heard, Cathy's had her problems, too. Yes, she has. And I'm the least of them. I don't know about that, but you should be discussing this with Cathy, not with me. Don't worry, I intend to. What can I get you? Uh, same again, please, Trish. Oh, well, look what the cat dragged in. Oh, don't you start. Why not? You should expect a lot worse trying to drag Alice from Cathy. Alice is my daughter. Yeah, well, you wouldn't know it. You dunked it, didn't you? I did People like you shouldn't even be let naked. Uh, Roy. You disgust me. You know that. All I'm trying to do is what's best for Alice. Then push it off. So then, what did Elsa say? Well, apparently she's told Alan she's going back to Australia. And not a moment too soon. Talk about overstaying your welcome. Not that I've ever given her any reason to feel welcome. <laughs> See you, Betty. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. Maybe I've got Elsa wrong. Sounds like she's started to realise Alice belongs here. Oh, come off it, Cathy. Waltzing in here after how long? Then suddenly deciding she wants to be a mother again. It's not some sort of game. Yeah, but I don't think it is a game to Elsa. She obviously cares about Alice and... And? And Alice obviously cares about her. I don't know, Sarah, denying her access to Alice seems so mean. But to be honest, I'm beginning to wonder if I'm doing the right thing. You're sure there isn't anything at all that you might have missed? Positive. Look, Zoe. I know how much this means to you, but the lads have already told the police all this. You didn't see anybody strange on the day that Chris went missing? No. Was there anyone that threatened him? Well, apart from Jackson, no. Jackson? Who's Jackson? He was somebody Chris had a go at about Owen's money. Well, then he's an obvious suspect. The police have checked him. He's got a solid alibi. Anyway, I know him. He wouldn't do anything like this. Like this? Like what? I mean... I don't understand what's going on, but you obviously do. Has Andy told you something? Sean, if you know something, please just tell me. Zoe, I swear I don't know anything. Angie hasn't said anything to me. I promise you I won't tell. She would never know. Zoe. Sean, you've got to tell me. If there's something they suspect... Zoe! He is my brother. I have a right to know what's happened to him. Zoe, listen to me. I don't know anything. Look, this isn't doing any good. Why don't you just go home, mate? Eh? I can't. Not until I find my brother. Lisa's asked me to help Mandy pick the hymns for the wedding. Oh! I was thinking about how lovely on the mountain. What do you think? The Mandy Dingle? <laughs> hey! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Elsa? Elsa? Are you all right? Yeah, sure. It was just something, Roy. What would you care, anyway? Well, all I've done is try to see my own daughter. Is that so terrible? Still, I'll be gone soon. Then you can all forget about me. You really are leaving, then. I guess it was stupid, me even coming here. It's just... All I want is for her to be happy. She is happy. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry we've all been a bit harsh with you. I, I know it. Well, it can't have been easy for you. Not after all this time. No. But then, I guess it can't have been easy for Cathy either. After all she's been through. Aye, the poor lass, it wasn't the best of timing. So soon after Biff called off the wedding. Why did he call it off? Well, just between you and me and the lamppost. Well, she's never been quite the same since the accident. She's never really got over it somehow. I mean, being run down like that, it's made her, well, less trusting, I suppose. Of course, the accident. I had heard something. That must have been awful for her. Was she very badly injured? Aye, we all thought she wouldn't. Still, she did. It took her some months, mind. <laughs> a shock in that, you know. 
post-traumatic summer, the doctors said. Oh, I didn't realise. Hi, mm. so, <laughs> you see, the poor love had had a pretty rough year before you even came on scene. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, don't apologise, Betty. I'm really glad somebody's finally told me the truth about Cathy. You aren't? I thought you would... Oh, no, I didn't mean You've to... you just told me exactly what I need to know. Thanks, Betty. Silly. Why? Because it was pointless. What was? It was pointless because Elsa's going home soon. Home? Yeah, to Australia. But I don't want her to. Hiya, how's it going? Oh, close to It's this open day. Really? Go so fast, don't they? Look, Zoe, if there's anything at all I yeah, can do. I know. I'm sure Chris will turn up safe. I think so. Did he say anything to you about coming here today? No, I mean, I'm sure the police are doing everything they can. I mean it. Anything you need, give me a ring. What do you want? Hello, John, how are you? Uh, I was wondering if I could fetch back some of Emily's clothes, only she'd been borrowing mine and Mandy's and they don't quite fit. She wants her clothes, she can fetch them herself. Well, is that it? No. I came here to give you this. It's an invitation to our Mandy's wedding. I thought you might like to come. I don't know if it's worth it any more price I'm getting for lambs now. <sighs> Barely enough to support one man, let alone a family. And what with Andy? You sound like you want to send him back. Of course I don't want to send him back. What's this? Well, what does it look like? <sighs> I'm sick of flaming sandwiches. Make your own tea, then. I can't be cooking. I'm out working all day. So am I. Well, that's different. Really? The cooking's not the same as farming. Oh, I don't know. We both spend all day feeding animals. There's your sandwiches for tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, it's my night off. I'm going out tonight with Angie, so you'll have to babysit. All right, where's Pete? We need him for a goalie. He's gone out. Oh, Jack? I can't. If you want to make yourself useful, you can give me a hand with the feed. Yeah, all right. And what about you, Robert? I can't. I want to go on the computer. Dad, I talked to Mr. Clark at school today. Oh, well. I mean, you've still got plenty of time when you do your work experience. Dad. What? It's about working here. What about it? You do want to, don't you? He'll be here soon. You, I, I got worried. Well, I'm not going to be much longer. Just a few more minutes. It's nearly five o'clock. I know. 
So he, school finished an hour, well, over an hour ago. If he was going to come... He is. Paddy, I can't just leave. It would be like admitting... No, no, it's not. It's not like nothing. You must think I'm stupid. It's just what he said to Kelly. I was just so sure. I know. I know. <sighs> Computing. He wants to be a computer programmer. Well, they haven't decided for deaf, in it. And why not? It's a good job. He's got the farm. Why do you think I work every hour that God sends? It's not for the money, is it? Look at it. It's all I've got to give him, Sarah. Or maybe he doesn't want it. <sighs> Dad. Great. So you're telling me I've been slogging my guts out for years for nothing? Well, what about Andy? Yeah. I'd love to work on the farm. Robert is my son. Jack! I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean it like that, Andy. I'd be proud to have you work with me. It's just... It's, it's, it's just the thought of passing the place on, knowing that it was going to stay in the family. After all we've been through, I thought it was what you wanted. How would you know what I want? You've never asked. I thought I'd recognise you from the market last time I saw you. You used to have your own place, didn't you? Sorry, I'm not a right lot of you. I don't have much time for cooking. Not since Emily. I gave up my pig farm when I moved in with Zach. Funny, isn't it? Things we do for love. I never thought I'd see our Mandy and Paddy wed. A vet marrying one of us. Still, Paddy didn't let his prejudices stand in the way. He loves Mandy. I know that. And that's what counts in the end. Not who he is or what other people want to think. Be good to see you there. I mean, I know we're not close friends are out. For Emily's sake, if not for ours. I know she'd like to see you. Would she? She misses you. Then how come she hasn't been to see me? All this time and not one word. She hasn't come because she's frightened. I know she wants to. But she won't come back. Not until you accept Butch. If you could just give him a chance. How can I? If it weren't for him. If it weren't for him, I'd never have lost her. You've not lost her. Not yet, anyway. Please, come to the wedding. She's your daughter, John. You can't just ignore her. You change your mind. So, what does Robert want to do, then? Uh, Chip wants a lager, please, Trish. He wants to do something with computers. He thinks it involves flash cars and loads of money. It does. Oh, really? Haven't seen your flash car recently. No, it doesn't. It's hard work, especially working with him. <laughs> well, don't tell me. Tell Robert. All right, I will. What? Well, bring him down one day next week. So I don't mind showing him what goes on. To be honest, I don't think she's coping very well at all. How do you mean? There you go. Oh, you all right? Yep. Yeah, I'm fine. You know, madness takes many forms, but I never expected it to take the form of Cathy Glover. I don't know what you're talking about. Neither would I if you hadn't put me on the right track. You've been a great help. Thank you. Just leave us alone. With pleasure. I can't stop anyway. I've got an appointment with my solicitor. Fill him in on all the gory details. What was it again? Post-traumatic. She wants. She's not making trouble, is she? No, she was just asking after Alice. She didn't want to disturb you. Oh, seems unusually thoughtful of her. Well, maybe she's starting to see sense. You think so? Only I've been wondering. Maybe I'm making a mistake denying her access. No way. You stick to your guns. Oh, I don't know, Graham. <sighs> okay. Technically, she has got a case. Yes, exactly. But from what she's been saying, she's not going to go through with it. 
Why confuse Alice with a few visits? I mean, if she's leaving anyway. Yeah, I guess so. Well, let's just hope you're right. I don't think I can face much more of this, let alone a custody battle. You won't have to. Trust me, she'll be gone soon. You didn't tell me about Craig Jackson. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. Craig was eliminated as a suspect. A suspect for what, exactly? Zoe, I don't think this is the place. Come on, Zoe, don't be going upsetting yourself. I'm not upset. I'm just trying to find out what's happened to my brother. I like the rest of you. If I got married, it'd have to be a white wedding. You're telling me. Oh, yeah. Listen, you sit down. I'll get these. Penny just had to leave. So I see. <laughs> Where have you been? Only we missed you at tea time. Um, oh, I had to work late up at Harley's yard. One at Laurie's is broken down. Did you fix it? No. Thanks for coming back with me. No, you're all right. I don't mind. I suppose I made a fool of myself, didn't I? With Angie, I mean. Oh, you're bound to want to know how the investigation's going. All I want... All I want is to know what's happened to Chris. You know, he used to drive me mad. I remember all that business with Kim. I remember wishing he'd leave, go and live somewhere else, get a life, let me get on with my own. That's terrible, isn't it? Wanting to be free of your own brother. Look at me and my mum. Things that frighten me. Seeing how cruel he could be. I know Chris isn't really cruel. He's just scared. Scared of getting hurt. Scared of people getting too close. You see, I'm exactly the same. Always terrified of making a fool of myself. Pathetic, isn't it? Talk to him. Let him know how I felt. It's like losing a limb. I can't do the simplest thing. It's the not knowing, you see. It's the not knowing what's happened. Zoe. <laughs> You're going to have to just try and carry on. How can I just try and carry on? It's like the same thing's happened to me. I'm not living. I'm not dead. I'm just stuck in this limbo, waiting. I want my brother back. I want it to end and then I don't. I'm scared because what if it doesn't? What if they find him and he's... What do I do then? <laughs> <laughs> 